I think it would be um, improper of me to say that we have uh, achieved success at this point. We have taken over an, a very old company and we have transformed it and given it new businesses. These new businesses are still in the incubation stage. They've been built, but we have not seen the results. Since gaining control of the Straits Trading Company in 2008, she has launched ambitious reforms to transform this venerable company from a staid colonial era tin smelter into a dynamic investment company with core businesses in real estate, hospitality, resources, and investment that spans the Asia Pacific region. Forbes listed her as one of Asia's 50 power business women last year. Relentless in vision and zeal, she is the businessman of the year, Ms. Chu Gek Kim. My biggest learning point was learning to deal with people. When we bought Straight Trading, I virtually had no choice but to roll up my sleeves and walk into the business. When I walked into Straight, I had to deal with people from every level. So at the higher level, you talk to people about strategy. Right at the most basic level, you have a cook complaining about ingredients or something strange like that. You suddenly realise the complexity of the operations. Founded in 1887, the Straits Trading Company was formed during the years of Singapore's colonial history to undertake tin smelting and became one of the biggest tin smelters in the world in 1912. It survived two world wars, saw the birth of a nation and was eventually acquired by OCBC Bank in the 1950s by Chu's grandfather, the late Tan Sri Tan Chin Tuan, who was the bank's chairman. Her family investment vehicle, Tessity, also held a stake in Straits Trading. In January 2008, Ms. Chu led a successful takeover of the company. From there, the wheels of change for Straits Trading were set in motion. Uh, we looked at the company when we bought it. It had a very large portfolio of real estate, medium-sized portfolio of hotels. And from there, we decided to build businesses around what they had. After we took control of Straits, we walked right into the great financial crisis. We then had to systematically look at the portfolio and sell down. I think that was a big key milestone. The two big positive ones are really the partnerships that we have formed. Uh, first between uh, jo the John Lim family office uh, and ARA, the second one with the Far East Group. In 2010, listed subsidiary Malaysia Smelting Corp sold its non-tin assets and reshaped its focus on tin mining and smelting. In November 2012, Ms. Chu restructured its hospitality division, injecting its business into a 30% owned joint venture with Far East Orchard Limited, linked to Singapore's largest property developer, Far East Organization. This transformed its business from 3,000 rooms under the Rendezvous brand to a stake in one of the largest hospitality players in the Asia Pacific, with over 13,000 rooms under management across more than 80 properties. Ms. Chu also executed a strategic alliance with ARA Asset Management and Mr. John Lim, CEO and substantial shareholder of ARA, to pursue growth opportunities and investments that would transform its low-yielding property portfolio into a dynamic growth engine in real estate. This vehicle, Straits Real Estate, has a total capital commitment of up to 950 million Singapore dollars and has injected 80 million US dollars into a development fund managed by ARA that will invest in development projects in Australia and Southeast Asia. She has this ability to harness the entrepreneur's spirit to come up with exceptional, brilliant solutions for all party on the win-win situations. Today, the company's key businesses include an 89.5% stake in Straits Real Estate, a co-investment vehicle that seeks out real estate-related investments and opportunities globally, a 20% stake in SGX-listed ARA Asset Management Limited, one of the largest real estate fund managers in the region, a 6% aggregate interest in Suntec REIT, one of the largest SGX-listed real estate investment trusts that owns prime office and retail space in the central business district of Singapore, a 30% stake in Far East Hospitality Holdings, one of the largest hospitality operators in the region, as a joint venture with Far East Orchard Limited, a 54.8% stake in Malaysia Smelting Corp. Its tin mining and smelting subsidiary is listed on Bursa Malaysia and secondary listed on SGX ST. I would say that 
that she's a very sharp businesswoman, very dedicated and able to focus what she wants to do so that the uh, uh, value will be derived from the company and therefore to the benefit of shareholders. You know, you have the strategy that's thinking and it's a bit, um, how shall I put it, abstract and you have to test a thesis. You're now in phase two, which is execution. Execution takes time, it takes the right sort of people, it takes that ability to assess your performance on a slightly micro level because you do something and if it's wrong, you have to change track and then you have to see whether the results come through. In addition to the multiple directorships she holds, Miss Chu is deputy head of her family's philanthropic arm, the Tan Jin Tuan Foundation, which follows a similar philosophy as its business, supporting projects with good governance and accountability to ensure a multiplier effect for each dollar donated. I don't have a style, I have a philosophy. And my philosophy to management is no different from that of business. You look at the issues before you, you look at what you have, and you figure out what you need to solve a problem. The transformation of straight trading is starting to bear fruit. Although earnings have been choppy due to the process of transformation, the foundations are being laid for its business to generate a sustainable earning stream. With Miss Chu's tenacity and dedication to succeed, straight trading is poised to cross even greater milestones in the future. I think as a person, I hope to have learned a lot more. Uh, I hope to be able to continue learning and I also hope to be able to learn a lot about other areas beyond business.